So today we're talking all things NDI. So thank you for joining us for this video. It's a little bit different to usual, but we've had a lot of questions about NDI. So NDI stands for Network Device Interface. So if we go and Google that, we will end up here and NDI is Network Device Interface. It's a royalty-free software standard developed by NewTek, which is a company to enable video compatible products to communicate and receive high def video over a computer network. So that is what NDI is. Now there's not a lot of videos out there about NDI and there's been some confusion. Now we are not gonna say we're experts by any means. We are self-taught and we know enough to get by. So we're hoping this helps some people. When you go into NDI website, it's just ndi.tv and then I would recommend going to NDI tools. What this does is it gives you lots of options and this is their tools you can download. So down the bottom here, we can download for Windows, we can download for Mac. I have never used this analysis tool, but you can also get that for Windows. Um, there's a few system requirements as well. But it gives you more options to add into the mix of technologies you're using in your live streams or just for church in general. Um, the one that we use is this NDI Studio Monitor. What that allows you to do is to send... Um, an image or a video or some sort of file like that over a network so that you can receive it on a computer or a device on the network somewhere else. How do we use this at church? Well, I send out a stage display from my ProPresenter computer over the network to a second computer and this acts as the display. So this just takes in the feed and shows whatever's on that display on that computer. That computer is hooked up into a monitor and that monitor faces our <coughs> people on stage in our studio for our live stream. So our church does an online only service on a Monday night, has its own little studio set up. And so that acts as our stage display. So on my stage display, I have live comments coming from Facebook and YouTube. And I have the current slide, the next slide, some slide notes, some timers, that sort of thing so that whoever's up there in the studio can see what's going on live online and it all comes from ProPresenter. It's sent over NDI via a stage display and then into the computer that shows it up on the screen. Why is that helpful? Well, instead of having to add another HDMI cord or find another cable that runs from one computer to the screen or something like that, it allows you just to send it between machines or between computers. So if you have, say, an announcements screen that runs in your foyer, it might be a long way away from your ProPresenter um, computer. And so instead of running a cable, you could hook up another device to it, send it over NDI to that device, and it could then be connected to your display. Uh, you can do it with things like Apple TVs and things like that as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a computer. So that is how I use it. But if you go down here, there's a few other tools as well that you can use. I have not used them, so full disclaimer there. But if you just have a read at what we can do, you'll see that it opens up lots of possibilities. So here we can capture and present full screen displays. Here we can make NDI source as a video input. So that is really helpful for things like Zoom, um, Google Hangouts, all that sort of stuff. It just acts as a normal video input instead of having to somehow get it in or capture a screen or use some other piece of software. I can probably also use that with ProPresenter. I haven't used that with ProPresenter, but we might have a play. A VLC, if you're into that, this one is super handy for some people. So you can download, it's a camera app for your phone, and then it hooks up to the network. As long as your device is connected to the same network, so it should be via Wi-Fi in this circumstance, that will send the video straight to your other computer or device on that same network. Now, in my experience, it's a little bit laggy and slow because our Wi-Fi network is not great. You might have a really good Wi-Fi network. It might work really well for you. So just have a play and a fiddle if that's something you could look at. It's a good way, if it does work, to add an extra camera angle into the mix for your church because it's free and the phone doesn't have to have any cables attached to it if it works well over your network. So there's lots of information there. I'll put a link to that in the in the description below. Um, down here, there's a few others. So if you use Creative Cloud, there's plugins for that. 
um, access manager, there's test patterns, there's drivers, and there's screen capture things. Now, I have not used any of them, but I'm sure they all work fairly well. You just need to download it. You do need to put in your name and details, and they will then email you the link to download the NDI stuff, but it is free. When you do install it, you do have to select which of these you want to install. If you're not sure, you might just install them all and have a fiddle, and that's okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little bit of a play with ProPresenter and show you how we would set up our stage display or set up a screen out of ProPresenter via NDI. So here is ProPresenter, and we know the first thing we're going to need to do is to set up an output because we want to send our ProPresenter out to somewhere. Now, outputs in ProPresenter are always set up as screens. So we're going to go up to screens and we, we will configure a new screen. Now, I've already set up an NDI congregation screen here previously, but I'm going to set up a new stage screen. So I'm going to go new screen, NDI Pro Presenter congregation. I don't want that one because that's the one that's set up here. So I'm going to go new NDI. I'm going to choose 1080p at 29 or 30 frames per second. You can choose whatever you want in here. So that is generally what I use most of the time so that everything's on the same frame rate and output. Now, my name, I'm just going to call it NDI Stage Display. Whatever you name it here is what we're going to choose in the NDI Studio Monitor software. So again, same as always in ProPresenter, make sure you name things easily so you can recognize what they are because we're starting to add lots and lots of different things in here and we want to be able to see what each thing is and understand what it is and where it's going straight away. So that's done. I'm just going to start change the name of my stage screen to NDI stage display as well. If you're not sure how I did that, I select the screen, I double click up here and I just type in the name. That is done and dusted. The other thing I'm going to do real quickly is whenever I set up a new screen, I just want to edit my looks. Now, because I set up a stage display, it's not going to be in here, but I always just do this out of habit just to double check. So at the moment, they're all set up right. And then for my stage display, I'm going to go down here into NDI stage display, and I'm going to choose which one I would like it to show. Now, if you're not sure about stage screens or making stage screens, we do have another video on that, so go and check it out. But for now, I am just going to go and choose my current text and notes, and we will have a play with that. So if I choose a slide, let's go down here to our song. At the moment, this is set up to our NDI congregation screen. We want to go down to our NDI stage display. And that is what should be getting sent to our NDI that we have just set up. How do we see that? Well, let's fire up our NDI studio monitor and we will show you. So here is NDI Studio Monitor turned on. Now, usually if you're using NDI, you wouldn't have this on the same computer because you've already got your Pro presenter sending it out on this computer. So I only have one computer at home at the moment, so I'm just going to do it on the same monitor. But just take note, over here, the NDI Studio Monitor would be opened on your second device and Pro presenter would be on your first device. And they'd be connected either via the Wi-Fi network, so on the same Wi-Fi, or via Ethernet cables plugged into them. Now, it's really easy to do this. So once it's set up over here in ProPresenter, on NDI Studio Monitor, you just need to make sure that you're sending something. So you've clicked a slide and chosen a slide. And then we just go to the menu. This is the name of my computer. And then I'm going to choose which I want to show. So we just set up the NDI Stage Display. So if I just choose that, straight away, it's going to show what's on the screen. Now, if I change the sliding pro presenter, you can see it's relatively fast. Just take note, I am on the same computer, so it's not actually sending anything over the network or the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet or anything like that. However, in my experience at church, over the Ethernet, I would expect it to be pretty much just as fast as this. Via Wi-Fi, it is a bit slower and it does, does lag occasionally. And so something like my timer, if I just go and turn that timer on, something like my timer would lag and occasionally stops and stutters. 
which is a little bit distracting when we do it via Wi-Fi at church. So we generally turn our Wi-Fi off, make sure our Ethernet works only on that computer. We go from a Windows to a Mac, and now on the Mac, if I plug in the Ethernet with the adapter, um, it always somehow and some reason prefers the Wi-Fi. So I physically turn the Wi-Fi off on the Mac to avoid that situation, and then it works nice and smoothly. So that's our NDI. If we wanted to change that straight to our other NDI, which is our congregation screen, we just do this. And there we go, we're on our new NDI. So if I go into here and show you that congregation, if I put that video up and start flicking through my slides, you can see it's pretty smooth and works fairly well with not much lag whatsoever. Now that is the performance I expect at church and our network is nothing special. Uh, we pretty much just use a household sort of domestic router with some cables plugged in the back of it. And we also have a switch later in our network to connect a few extra devices. So there's probably five things plugged in all together in the whole church, but that's the performance we're getting as well at church. So that is how easy and simple it is to set up NDI. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do let us know. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below and hit that like or subscribe button. Thank you for watching and we'll bring you more ProPresenter tutorials soon.